Well, greetings and welcome to today's Extraordinary Connection. My name is Pastor Devin, and I'm glad to be able to take these few minutes to spend with you today. And before I start, I have to say to any of my congregation here at Romeo, you should be receiving your January newsletters any time now. And as you are reading it, you may see a few similarities between the newsletter and today's devotion. And it's because after writing that article, I found myself still thinking about it. So I wanted to expand on it with today's devotion. And the impetus for my newsletter and this devotion came as I was sitting and listening to some Christmas music recently. It was actually John Lennon's Happy Xmas that came on and started playing. Of course, I was familiar with the song, but as I listened to it, I found the words, found them repeating in my mind. So this is Christmas, and what have you done? Another year over, and a new one just begun. I think we all probably have those times that we stop and consider what we have done, what we have accomplished in our lives, maybe in the past days, past months, the year that's been passed. In the end of one year and the start of another, it's often a time that we find ourselves reflecting. And maybe you have some help in that. Maybe your Spotify playlist is showing you your most listened to songs for the past year or your Photos app is flashing up all those memories of the past year, putting them before you. Maybe you look at that 2020 calendar and planner that you bought, and aside from realizing it was pretty much unnecessary, you feel a sense of sadness at the events and plans that were unable to happen in the past year. Another year over, and what have you done? You know, under normal circumstances, I might use this moment as a challenge to all of us, a chance to encourage us to look back, but also to set some personal goals or goals for the church, for your family, for the year to come, things that you want to accomplish. And while I do think that is a, a noble and worthwhile effort to set those goals and make those plans, I also would like to point out that if you're looking back at 2020, and asking, what have I done? And if your answers consist of, I've stayed home, or I wasn't able to have that birthday or anniversary celebration, or Christmas was a whole lot quieter this year than normal, or maybe what you've done is, I've worn my mask, or I haven't given as many hugs, or I've spent a lot more time looking at people as little squares on my screen. I want to say, if you identify with those or so many of the other sacrifices that people have made in the past year, I wanna say thank you. It may be a little hard to quantify and identify just what you've done in the past year, but that does not make it any less important. It's because of those and so many other efforts that someone, yourself included, may not have been exposed to the virus. Someone may have been able to stay safe, stay healthy. Because unfortunately, the truth is, we will always remember the pandemic of 2020. It will be the year that 335,000 Americans and 1.78 million people around the world died from the virus. So if what you have done this year, if all that you have done this year is your part to help others stay safe and stay healthy, thank you. Your efforts were not in vain. And what you have done is help prevent those numbers from being potentially astronomically higher. Toward the end of the song, John Lennon sings, A very merry Christmas and a happy new year. Let's hope it's a good one without any fear. My friends, that is my hope for all of us. 
I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you will be able to celebrate a happy new year. And I most certainly hope the year to come will be a good one. One that will not see fear rule the day. But instead, one that will see us remembering the words of hope we just celebrated on Christmas Eve. Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Let us walk into the new year with the promise of hope this proclamation still brings to our lives. Until next time, till next year, stay safe, take care, and God bless.